Oh, damn, that was loud. Ooh. Okay, guys, so first things first, I've already cleansed my skin. I'm going to go in with a primer. So the primer I'm taking today is my usual 100% pure mattifying primer. You guys know the drill. I'm quite oily, so I like to have something that will mattify my skin for a long period of time. And I just apply it to the center of my face and work out just because the T-zone area is where I get the most oily and where my makeup can start to kind of separate. So I just like to apply the most there. So my throat's like a little bit crackly today. I did lose my voice. I've been away last week. I've already like a life update chit chat tutorial coming soon, which I'll talk more about it because oh, I had like the most amazing week ever. But that's why I only put one video up last week. So I'll still get back to my normal two videos, if not more, a week. Boy, you guys. Just letting you know. For like my five minute date night makeup looks, I'm always like usually just like wanting to kind of get out the door if it's in a rush. I want to look a bit done up, you know, if it's a cute little date, you want to look a bit like fancy. This isn't going to be like a full glare makeup look because it is only five minutes. These are just tips and tricks that I'd like to share with you guys to, you know, enhance your features, still look pretty, still look really beautiful for your date night. But it won't take too long and they're really simple tricks as well so it's a perfect for a beginner makeup artist like yourself if you are one okay so for foundation i'm going to take my milani conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation in the shade medium beige and what i do is i actually just squeeze it onto the back of my hand just a pump or so i can add more if i need i'll actually go and apply it like on with my fingers so to save time instead of just getting like a beauty sponge or a brush I just like to blend it in with my fingers it also helps me keep a light layer of the product so I can really blend it into my skin it won't be too full coverage I prefer to have a more medium to natural coverage for my everyday kind of date night look just because I like, for me, I do prefer a more natural look for dates. Just to enhance my natural features. Unless I'm going to a specific event with my partner. Otherwise I'll usually just wear quite a natural look. And I just find using my fingers, it's quick, it's easy, it saves so much hassle and time. And it helps me create such a natural coverage. So next step for me is a cream bronzer. I prefer to use less powder powders. <laughs> I prefer to use less powders and more creams for a like, date night look just because it looks the most like skin like looks the most natural. So I'm going to take my Hula what is it? Hula Quickie Contour Stick from Benefit and apply it to just the areas where you'd naturally get a bit of sun. And with this one I will also use my finger just to dab it in. Like, I, you can use a brush or a beauty sponge if you want. It's definitely up to you. For my blush today, I'm going to use a cream blush. This is the Master Glaze Cream Blush from Maybelline in the shade Coral Sheen. And I'm just going to whack that a little bit on the kind of contour blushy areas of my face. And a little bit again on the bridge of my nose. And again, just blend it in with your finger. I like to go a little bit more intense with my blush, especially for a date night look, just because I just think it's so feminine and flattering and just a flush of colour to the skin is so beautiful. So the next step is when I'll take my concealer. This is the Instant Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline. And I'm just going to apply it under the eyes. And if I have like, a few um, pimples or breakouts as well, I'll do like a bit of spot concealing. And... Basically we'll just press it into the skin to blend it out. And if you find you've gone too heavy on the blush and you've like, oh, I've overdone it, this is a good time to just kind of maybe blend that concealer into your blush and just tone it down a little bit. For face powder today, I'm going to take the uh, From the Earth Press Powder from Raw in the shade Nude. And this is when I'll take a utensil. I'm going to go in with this a a dry beauty sponge and just press that powder under my eyes and T-zone T area, more like triangle area of my face. So this helps blur my pores and sets the concealer. 
and I will set my t-zone area with this powder to prevent my oil seeping through and moving or fading my makeup so for contour I'm going to take my breakup powder from Makeup Geek and I'm just placing that just through here to kind of bring some of my cheekbones back to life just slotting it in that hollow just kind of hug the cheekbone so for face highlight today I'm going to go in with these two highlights I'm first going to take the middle highlight shade the bronzy tone and apply that to the kind of bronzy part of my face then I'm going to dip into moon gleam which is the lightest shade from the palette and apply that to the high points of the face and I'm actually going to hit that brow bone highlight too like that tip of of the brow bone high point of the brow bone and I'll just hit the tip of my nose as well and Cupid's bow and then I'm going to take my setting spray from Kat Von D just to lock all of it in for brows today you can fill them in if you want but because it's a five minute look it's really quick easy I'm just going to brush my hairs up and kind of give them a bit of color with my Rimmel brow this way brow sculpting gel and I like to brush them up to actually lift the face. If they're brushed down, you get kind of a droop. Quick, easy, brows are done. It's just so simple, so quick, so effective, my favourite. So for eyes, I like to keep it quite simple. Like I, I vary it up depending on how much time I'll do. Sometimes I'll do a smoky liner look. Sometimes I'll do a smoky eye. Sometimes I'll just chuck a little bit of brown shadow in the crease. Call it a day. Good to go. Today might just do a little bit of shape to the eye so with a fluffy the waver like crease brush I'm just going to take that very well loved transition color from the Morphe 350 palette and start blending that through my crease all the way from outer and bringing it toward the inner corner so just through that whole crease area next on a petite crease brush I'm going to take some of this more warmer tone brown slightly deeper shade and bring that on my outer V blending it again through the crease towards the inner corner kind of mimicking like a soft halo eye in effect like in a slight effect just because I'm using whatever's left on the brush on the inner kind of ball of the eye but making sure to make it the most pigmented on the outer corner so to give a bit of dimension to the eye a super quick tip is to grab like a white shade I'm just going to grab this matte white from what uh, from Makeup Geek called White Lies and with my finger I'm just applying that to the center of the lid kind of like a halo eye but very very soft and I might even take like a smidgen of shimmer shimmer and place that in the very very center like just in like on the very center of the ball of the eyeball yeah I'll just chuck some of that shimmer shimmer on my brow bone for an even and more intense highlight so for mascara today, I'm going to take my Colossal Mascara from Maybelline. Just the usual. I love this one so much to give a bit of volume. And before I forget, you guys know me, I love a good nude in the waterline to open up the eyes. So I'm just going to chuck that in my bottom waterline real quick. Now I just want to ground this bottom waterline a little bit more. So I'm going to actually add some eyeshadow to it. So just taking that deep brown that we use in the outer corner, that second eyeshadow, I'm going to place that with a more defined brush closely against the lash line. I'm bringing that all the way into the inner corner, still making sure the most pigment is on the outer corner. And then with whatever's left, I taper it in to kind of give a bit of a smoky effect to the eye. And just kind of extending it up towards the tail of my brow. And I'll just do a touch of mascara to my bottom lashes. I want to keep the eyes still open. So I won't apply much. So to finish off this eye makeup, I'm going to do a kind of red berry lip, but a very soft one. So with the lips, I don't. I you could do a nude if you would like. I like to keep it kind of more sultry, sexy with like a red lip. So initially, I'm going to actually like just slightly overdraw my lips with a nude, like like a nude lip pencil, and it's literally like my lip color almost to a T. So I love to kind of just overdraw my lips slightly. So next I'm actually going to go in with a red lip. This one is the Ruby R Ruby Delight Face of Australia lipstick. I'm only going to use a slight amount of this, like a 
touch. Just a touch. I don't want anything too intense. I'm just going to kind of dot it on. Just like that. And then blend it in. So guys, this concludes today's 5 minute date night makeup look. I really, really, really hope you enjoyed it. Got a few tips and tricks from it. You can take away steps, add steps. You can add some lashes if you would like to this look. I just want to keep it really simple. Like, pretty neutral. A little bit glam, but not too much, you know. If you guys did like this video, make sure to give a big thumbs up for me. I really appreciate it. And make sure to subscribe down below before you leave. So you guys can keep up to date with all my latest videos and tutorials. Have an amazing day, guys. I love you all so much. Bye.